a moment of silence for my attempt to once again make money off AMC. What am I doing? Breaking down this options play, I bought calls on AMC two days ago. I was up over 100% on those calls. Now, I'm getting crushed on those calls. What is going on? We're taking a look at the chart here with AMC, talking about some technical analysis, talking about the move, and talking about how I've actually lost money once again buying call options on AMC. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Breaking it down right here in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. What's going on, guys? So I'm back again today to talk about AMC, but I'm not gonna trash talk AMC. I'm not gonna bash AMC. We're just gonna talk about the chart, and we're gonna talk about my play. I had a trade on AMC. I was up over 100% at one point. I was up over 100% at one point. And now, well, now I'm down big on it. And uh, I'll show you guys the trade here. All right, so you can see the options right here. These are $40 call options that expire tomorrow on Friday here on AMC. And we'll take a look at the chart and I'll explain the trade and what I was looking at, what I was thinking. But you can see on Tuesday, I ended up buying these options for 90 cents. They spiked to a high of $1.85 and then crash back down and today it's around 15 cents. Oh, what was I doing? You know, what was I thinking here, my friends? And the worst part about it is even yesterday, yesterday, Wednesday, it spiked to a high of $1.55. So once again, I could have gotten out, you know, I could have gotten out for a profit here, but instead I'm gonna get out for a, right now I'm about, I'm down about $565 on these call options. And well, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Wow, wowzers, wowzers. So let's take a so let's take a look at the so let's look at the chart here and the price action, and I'll kind of break down the trade and and what what went wrong and and how I ended up losing money here on this amazing stock AMC. I don't even I don't know why I, why do I keep trading it? Why why? All right, so we're looking here at the chart on AMC. This is the 15-minute chart we're going to look at right now. You can see the EMAs. AMC, to be honest, AMC has been making a beautiful move. It's been just going higher and higher, and, like, it's just been beautiful. It's been literally since the 15th. Well, since the 11th, it's been making higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, hey, this is this is going to make a move. I think we might possibly break above the $40 level by Friday. So that's why I ended up buying those $40 call options. And you can see just there on Tuesday, the price of the stock went from $34 to a high of almost $39. So that's when we got that big move and I was up over 100% on those call options. So at that point, I'm thinking like, okay, we're gonna get a small pullback and then worse come to worse, I'm thinking worse come to worse, we're gonna gap up on Thursday we're gonna gap up $39 area, kind of like we did here. You know, we're gonna push up, and then we're gonna push and break $40. We're gonna get that final break of $40. But instead, this morning, the whole entire market took a shit, and well, AMC also took the took a took the same thing, and now is down to the $34 area. And I know someone's gonna comment and be like, "Yeah, it's at $34," and you said it was gonna be $15, guys. There's still a chance that AMC could go to $15 before it goes to the moon. There's still a very, very, very high likelihood of that happening. Just the same way that if you want to believe that you think AMC is going to go from $34 to $100, well, why is it wrong for me to believe that AMC might drop to $15 first? You know, you can't really hate someone for having an idea, a thesis on a stock. I would never be mad because somebody said, hey, uh, you know, AMC is going to go to $50. Uh, before it goes to fifteen dollars, I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not like, okay. Oh, that's that's a good good way to look at it. But looking at the chart here, like I said, we were making higher lows, higher lows. This beautiful trend, beautiful trend here on AMC. Um, you know, from a technical trading, from a trading standpoint, from just a overall momentum style day trading standpoint. Not even looking, you know, that it's AMC. Not even thinking about the apes or the whole movement or anything like that. From a technical just pure technical, beautiful chart setup. This really, like I said, this sh should have just gone to the moon here. It broke 
over this resistance here, the 38 level, we had that $40 resistance. If we look at the daily chart, you can see on the daily chart that resistance there, the $40 level. And this should have, you know, this should have been the breakthrough. Like we should have broke, we should have pushed up here. Like yesterday, I think, you know, maybe yesterday should have been an indicator for me that I should have been kind of worried. But, you know, in the past we've seen, you know, you know, kind of consolidation thinking like, okay, if we got rid of this candle here, then we're going to kind of do a little flag, you know, maybe kind of go like you do do kind of like that, get a little bull flag going Friday. We're going to pop up here to the forty two, forty four dollar area. That was my thesis, my trade plan. So you can hate on the idea. Oh, you know, Patrick lost money. He's an idiot. He didn't know what he's doing. But at the end of the day, this was a solid trade. Nobody can hate on this trade. Nobody can hate on this trade. Like I said, he had that double bottom area there at the $30 area. We push up. Look at that. How beautiful that trend is for quite some time, for days, for days, my friends. And well, look, we just broke down from that trend. And well, like I said, that $15 area is looking very, very possible because now it's like this. Now we basically make that move very similar to this move. So we had made this move up here to the $45 area. And then what we bled out down here to the thirties. So basically you're going just like this. I mean, I don't know if you, if, if I can draw this any better just by drawing on the chart lines on the chart here, but I mean, do you guys see a pattern here? Do you see a pattern here? You know, it's like this, basically just like this movement, these little ups, these downs, these little ups and these slow bleeding downs. So now the question is, do we break down here to again to the $30 area? I don't care what anyone says. If it can't hold 30, it's going to go lower, obviously. But I'm saying right now, and I'm going to put it out there for the internet to see, for everybody to hate on. I'm saying it right now that I fully believe that AMC at some point will touch this $15 area. The question is, do we spike up here first and then pull back? Do we spike up? What's happening right now? And I'm telling you, what's happening is we're getting these FOMO pops. People are trying to buy in, buy in, buy in. And then we're just getting the selling to come in there. The stock doesn't make the move that we think it's going to make. And then it pulls back. So if you get rid of this, basically, let's get rid of every line on the chart here. This is all that really matters. At the end of the day, key levels are pretty much all that we're worried about. As a trader, you're really worried about two things. Key levels and then you know overall trend, really. So you're looking at those key levels as support resistance. And then you're looking at the trend. Are we trending higher or are we trending lower? And those are really the only two things you need to worry about as a trader. It doesn't matter about MACD, RSI, or any of that crap. None of that matters, my friends. You have two things to worry about. I'm going to make a video because I'm that passionate about this right now. But you have two things to worry about as a trader, and that's the overall trend and the key levels. So let's just identify key levels by looking here at the daily chart. Obviously, that key level for us is going to be that $40 level. So we know... $40 is going to be resistance on this on this stock right now. We know after that that we can say, I, I don't really want to call this 48 level like a an area. I'd say more like 50 is, you know, we'll say like here 48 to the 50 area, like right and here would be our next level of resistance. And then it's pretty clear, you know, that that's 64. I'd even say like $60. I'm just going to say like $60, 64 area is going to be our kind of key level to look at. So we got 62 to 60 area being our key level for the upside resistance. We got this 50, 48 to $50 level being our next resistance. Right now, this $40 area is that key resistance that we're watching. I'm going to hold these calls either way, just in case for some insane reason, AMC decides to gap up tomorrow morning. Maybe the whole entire market, you know, after this big sell-off kind of just gaps up again and then we make a move. I, I don't know. Honestly, at this point, like what's the, I'd rather lose a thousand dollars than then only, you know, get out of it with the $200 so that I got left on it. So let's go, let's go, right? Like at this point, what's, you know, what's the point in cutting the loss off at this point? So again, we've got that $40 area as key level. So where do we end up in terms of support? Really that $30 level, we've seen that 29 to $30 level being a very key area of support here on AMC. But what do we have after that? And this is what we need to focus on, my friends. Again, we're focusing on these two things. What do we have after that $29 level? Where is our next support at? Where's our next support? I don't care if you're a bear, a bull, or uh, an ape or what. You have to answer this question very clearly and very knowingly. Look at this and say, okay, where is that next level at? Well, it's all the way down here at 12, but I've basically 
I've said that $15 being that previous resistance would be our next level of support. 15 to $12 area here on AMC. It's not rocket science. Like I'm not making this up and you guys can hate me for it all you want. You can say I'm an idiot. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But this is, it's cut and dry. You have resistance. You have resistance. You have resistance. You have support. You then have support down here. So we know that we have a lot of resistance up here at the top. And we know that we really only have a little bit of support here. Or we'll say we'll have, we have support at the $30 level. That $15 to $12 level would be our next support. And you can see it's a pretty big drop from there. There's not much in terms of support at that level. We had a gap in the chart there that got filled with this price action here. So now the question is, does AMC retest this $30 level and then get down here to the $15? And I keep seeing everybody commenting. People love to come back, come back to my channel and go, what's the price now? What's the price now? But what you have to understand, again, my friends, is momentum, trend, momentum, and price levels. So yes, we bounced off that $30 level. We pushed up here to the 40s, 100%, that happened. But now the question is, we can't break through 40. So what's the next least resistance to path of resistance? What's the least path of resistance, right? What's the least resist, what's the path, what's the path of least resistance? What is the path of least, oh my gosh. What is the path of least resistance here? So the path of least resistance at this point would be the idea of AMC pulling back to this $30 level. If it cannot hold $30, like I said, what's that next support? And everybody, I know people get so emotional, people get so mad and so angry when they watch my videos, but this is clear. This is not me making this up. This is not me having an idea or a thesis or talking about shorts or talking about anything other than the chart. And that's what we're focused on. And I know a lot of people, you know, say this, the chart doesn't matter, the fundamentals don't matter, but clearly, the chart is mattering right now because guess what? Again, getting stuck at that $39 to $40 level. I was optimistic. I thought that we were going to go ding, 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 ding and push up here to the 50s. I really, I thought that was coming into play. We were going to get that action. We had some good price action. We had those higher lows, higher lows multiple times there on the daily chart. You know, looking at the hourly chart, this thing looked strong like it wanted to go. And that's exactly why I ended up buying those call options because like I said, it was looking for a break up here above $40. So at the end of the day, the trade did not work out. We've pulled back to the EMA area. This will be, you know, that kind of question as well. Does the 34, the $35 area act as support with the EMAs there? Do we get another push to the forties? I think either way I'm screwed on my $40 calls. If it does happen, it wouldn't really, I think it wouldn't happen until next week, pushing through that $40 level. But you can see in the past, the last time we bounced off that $30 level, we had this beautiful trend, but look, we broke to the downside. We pushed up, we pushed up, and then we broke to the downside again. So it's not to say that, you know, AMC is going to zero or it's going to a million or what. It's just looking at the chart here and seeing exactly how this is, this is unfolding, what is unfolding and how it's unfolding. So like I said, the question now is do we turn this $34 area, $35 area to support? And then we push, I think either way, like I said, that $40 level is not coming this week and well, I'm screwed. So I don't know why I think at the end of the day, I just keep trading AMC because I'm like, I, you know, I want to like finally like have one big trade on AMC. Like I want to have one big, good trade so I could put a video on YouTube and be like, look guys, I did it. I did it with you. You know, we did it together. We made some money together. We did it together. So it just didn't happen. It didn't happen for me. So we'll see who knows. I think, uh, like I said, I think there's a very low chance of those options expiring in the money, but at this point, we'll we'll just let it ride, and it sucks. It really does suck, because like I said, at one point, I was up over 100%. Like, if we'd had this move here, just, you know, replicate on Thursday, and then on Friday, oh, we would have been off to the races, and I'd be living on a yacht right now in the Mediterranean somewhere. So, there it is, the chart, the breakdown, losing money once again on AMC. It's it's a it's a comedy show at this point, my friends. Welcome to the comedy show at this point. You know what I mean? All right, if you guys haven't already, do me one big favor, hit that like button, subscribe button, all the buttons down below. I'll talk to you guys later on. <laughs>